Every tooth has a rounded off working edge. Why you ask? Here's why. Last tree of the day had this doozy hidden right on the back side. And I uh, sliced it repeatedly. It's like, man, this is some hard wood. Wait, why is it blowing this weird chalky like powder out the back side? It must be in a dry knot. Oh, well, let's try cut it again. Yeah. This is what you get for trying to low stump on rocky steep terrain. Hey everyone, I want to expand more on the topic of this rock and some other things that are kind of along the same lines. So the video will be posted before this, saying how I cut into that rock. Um, I get asked these questions a lot by East Coasters or Europeans or what have you. Why is your stump higher? They're used to cutting flush. There's a few reasons. The number one for me is I'm not going to murder my chain like I did in this video. Cutting that low. There's dirt that can pull into the bark low on the ground from rain dropping, sand, uh, rocks that can pull into the stump from the root structure. There's just that kills your chain, you gotta swap a chain. If you're half a mile, a mile from your truck and you packed your four or five chains out and you've toasted all your chains in the first half a dozen trees because you're trying to cut low stumps, you're not having a very productive day. Um, another reason, steep rocky terrain like I was cutting this last week or so, um, I was cutting on, here's vertical, I was cutting on terrain that was like this to this in some spots. There's these rocky shelves, these outcroppings. The whole mountaintop is like sandstone and basalt with a little bit of soil. That causes core rot. If you've seen my previous videos on Instagram or Facebook, you see there's a lot of rot in the center of these trees. I was cutting from the biggest ones I cut were around four feet, maybe four and a half feet down to, you know, smaller stuff. So I was running a 32 inch bar. On steep terrain, you can't get trees here the slope is here you can't get in between that on the high side of the tree to cut a low stump some places you can but a lot of the time you have to put in your face on the low side of the tree and then get on the higher side or behind it and finish off your cut on the back side if you were to stay on the high side the whole time you're gonna end up with a chest high stump you don't want that. It's preferable if you want to get into better wood to cut a higher stump because then you're not cutting into the rot and you're not losing that manipulation on the tree in the stump. But you cut as low a stump as possible because if you do cut a high stump, you have to cut it off. You don't want the rigging guys to be bouncing their trees off of stumps that are going up the mountain. So it, you, you cut it on the low side to put your face in and there's moss and brush and all kinds of stuff. You, you're peeking around the back side of the tree before you cut, but sometimes it's dark, it's rainy, it's cloudy, you can't see everything. And like I did, you end up hitting some rocks. I'm running a 32 inch bar, so on smaller stuff, the back side of your bar is going to hang out a little bit. So you have to pull your saw out a little to not dig into the mountainside. That's how steep some of this terrain is. So another reason for the higher stumps is if there's a root swell, the mills won't accept a root swell. They'll deduct the load if you've got a bunch of trees on the truck. Number one, they won't stack right, but they're gonna deduct that footage off and then you have a log that's not to length. So if we're in a felon buck situation, we cut a tree, we see that there's core rot. Now in cedar, they'll, they'll accept a certain amount of rot because the cedar's the most valuable wood out here. But if it's fir, hemlock, spruce, whatever, if it's got a swell on it, we cut that off and then we measure out a log and we cut the log. If it's a tree length, uh, the majority of the time we'll just drop the tree, goes where it goes, inlay, and the loggers will trim it with a processor once it gets to the landing. Um, as for the high stump part though, sometimes we're avoiding like a four foot section of rot at the base of the tree. So we're going to cut up here 
to try and get better wood, number one, we can manipulate the falling of the tree process better in good wood rather than a rotten piece of crap that's just going to crumble when you cut into it. And then we'll trim the stump down. And my videos are as like, whoa, why this high stump? I've actually cut that stump down after the video is done. You're, you don't want to see me shaving down a stump, but I cut them off. So when they're logging it out with a tower or shovel or whatever, they're not bouncing off of higher stumps. Now, a high stump for me is going to be like two foot. That's what you're seeing. That's a high stump. There's an occasional ones that are up here that I've avoided this big rotten section that you're not seeing in the video, or I've bore cut into it already and I knew there was a significant amount of rot, or I've shaved some bark off and I exposed a wound. There's all these things that are playing into a higher stump. I'm not just out there being comfortable cutting a higher stump because that's easier on my back. There's a reason why there's higher stumps. I'll shave it off later. Another reason for higher stumps in certain situations that you'll see me leave is to hold the timber on the mountain after the tree's down. This train I was cutting in last was really steep, like cliff and 75% grade in spots. So I was leaving three foot stumps in strategic places to hold the timber once it fell onto the ground. So I fall at side hill and then it holds against that stump. And then I'm going to stack another few hundred trees on top of that all the way up the mountain. And strategically up as we go, we're going to leave higher stumps to hold that on the hill. Because there's the places road below you. You know, you can't lose a tree and go way down there and block a road or something. So you got to hold them on the hill. I don't know in other like European countries if that's a deal or not. Everybody's always talking about low stumps, high stumps, why such a high stump. But there's a reason why it's done. Now there are lazy cutters that'll just cut a high stump. You see it in the arborist videos a lot. These guys are cutting like at base level. I don't understand that so much unless it's to avoid a rotten spot or a root swell which will have rot in the base. But a lot of times you see these guys cutting up here, which isn't actually a good working position. You want to have it at a safe working position. I don't know why they're up here doing that. But in a timber felling scenario, those are the reasons why me personally will leave a high stump. Avoid damage your chain. Getting out of rotten spots. Strategically place stumps to hold timber on the hill. And there's probably another dozen or two things that I've forgot to mention, but we're kind of creeping up on this video here. So, uh, hopefully that was informative and this will give you some insight on how things are kind of done out here in the Pacific Northwest and, uh, why I do it. Have a good one, people.